we, we were talking about doing a few of these um, yeah. and sort of getting into particular aspects. So uh -huh. I, guess, I guess it kind of makes sense to first sort of get a framework of um, if, if you had to if you had to explain how a guitar works to someone on a high level, um, how, how would you explain the way a guitar works? <laughs> <laughs> the way I look at it is the guitar has these uh, vibrational modes and, mm -hmm. and there's, there, there are air pistons inside the guitars that, that are uh, uh, excited by the, the string vibration and, and the, the top is also excited by the string vibration. And then you have these modes of vibration that are, that are being activated. And every guitar out there has um, some variation or version of the, these modes. Mm -hmm. um, and to what degree of efficiency they vibrate and at what frequency essentially determines how the guitar is going to sound and and uh the the how it's going to sound and then the the sort of uh, measurable attributes of sound like volume sustain projection clarity balance all of these things um and and yeah you can you can vibrate any guitar out there and they will vibrate in some form of these modes and if you pick mm. up a, a overbuilt guitar that all of these modes are just going to be highly dampened and then if you pick up a um, guitar that's sort of uh, built much more efficiently, you'd hope that these modes are going to vibrate much more efficiently. And and when you, you get the modes vibrating more efficiently and place them at uh, uh, sort of ideal frequencies, um, you can get more volume, sustain, projection, um, balance. You, you can sort of achieve all of these things. Um, that's a very basic description yeah. of it it's not just the guitar thing it's any structure has mm -hmm. modes of vibration i think the easiest example is a pedestrian bridge um yep. and i think we all know the story of a a troop or whatever marching across a pedestrian bridge and it going all wobbly and wavy and collapsing uh -huh. and basically what that is is that bridge has a resonant frequency probably somewhere in the two to five hertz range, which is pretty much how fast we walk. So the, because the, the structure is susceptible at that frequency, when loads are applied at that frequency, then it excites the, the structure to move in a certain way. Where a guitar is different to another structure, if you look at a bridge again, um, you want to stay as far away from you want to keep the, the resonant frequencies as far far away from the loads that you're expecting as possible. Yeah. Um, so you can make a pedestrian bridge that's strong enough that it won't collapse, but if its uh, resonant frequency is in the wrong range, it's uh, not going to work because it, it will get excited by the pedestrian. So, whereas with the guitar, you want the resonant frequencies to fall uh, within the range of uh, notes that the strings are producing um, because then the top and the rest of the guitar is going to more effectively be activated by the strings. Yeah. Um, and then the degree to which it gets activated is dependent on how responsive the guitar is built and how responsive, like you said, the various modes are. Yeah. You've got the modes vibrating and how they vibrate, at what frequencies and at what efficiency is what determines the sound of the guitar. Yeah.